I did not say that! <laughs> or oh, that! You've taken my words completely out of context and I just... What? And... Oh, prominent trans woman. <laughs> but no, this is absolutely... Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to Newsblock. I am your host, Benjamin Ashbott, and on tonight's show we have famous author Sasha Glafko and non-entity poet Adelia Day, who thinks she's possessed by a jellyfish. <laughs> I don't want jellyfish in my school! What do you say to that, Adelia? Should we have jellyfish in schools? Should we be eating jellyfish? I thought we were here to talk about the trans woman that got murdered last week. She should have known she'd be attacked, pretending to be a jellyfish. She's not a jellyfish. Exactly! Trans women don't have tentacles. Yeah, yeah, that's the real issue, isn't it? No, the issue is how we're massively discriminated against and how it's fueled by huge amounts of misrepresentation in the media. So you're saying you do have tentacles? <laughs> she doesn't! There are only two genders and neither one is a jellyfish! <laughs> what are you even doing here? I wrote a book! <laughs> <laughs> About trans rights? No. About violent crime? No. What about then? Hummus? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> Famous celebrity recipes with hummus. Oh. Oh. Sasha. Sasha Glafka. Oh, I didn't make the connection before. I love that book. My friends love that book. Oh, there's that recipe with the tangerine sauce and the pita bread. You totally don't think it's going to work, but it really does. <laughs> well, it's such an honour to meet you. Your writing on chickpea-based delight is admirable, and your insights into the flavour of falafel are divine. But you can't just become famous for one thing and then segue into a subject you know absolutely nothing about. Whoa, Adelia, that's not the way we do things here. What about hearing both sides of the debate? Do you do this on everything? Always have to invite one person with the facts and someone else with wildly different unresearched views. When a child goes missing, do you always insist on bringing someone on to go, well, you know, maybe the child never existed in the first place? <laughs> when there was a financial crisis, did you insist it had to be the case that someone was on every panel to go, well, you know, isn't money just a social construct, really, anyway? <laughs> When uh, you have football matches, I don't watch football or any sports, so I don't know how it goes, but I assume it must be the case that you get one commentator all the time who loves it and one who hates it. Oh, it would have been brilliant if they knocked it past the defender and scored that match-winning goal. Yeah, I suppose, but aren't they just a bunch of overpaid idiots and isn't it a waste of time? <laughs> Why is no one listening to me? There are only two genders, penis and vagina! This isn't the Emperor's new clothes, but you are behaving like a child. Penis! <laughs> You're looking at this too simplistically. 